It's easy to label things Islamic, but what does it mean to have an Islamic education? This is a fundamental question of our times. At the Quran Academy, we understand this to be study traditional Islamic sciences through modern pedagogical standards with a revivalist perspective. So, traditional Islamic sciences, well of course that includes memorization, but what of the message, what of the meaning? Aisha radiallahu anha, she used to say about the Prophet peace be upon him, kana khulquhu al-Qur'an, the character of the Prophet was the Qur'an. Now how could that be if it was just the sounds and the letters that children recognize? Rather, at the Quran Academy, we teach up to GCSC level Arabic, tafsir, fiqh, history and critical thinking. And this is what is necessary for our children to teach them a wide range of Islamic disciplines. As for modern pedagogical standards, think about it. If you saw a hospital 500 years ago and then you saw it 500 years later, wouldn't it be different? Well, what about the madrasa? It looks exactly the same. This is why we've employed the help of our course coordinators that are from Al-Azhar, they are QTS trainers and pedagogical experts in teaching children specifically. You know, teaching a five to seven year old is not the same as teaching an eight to 10 year old, nor is it the same in teaching an 11 to 16 year old. And that's why we have a curriculum that is specifically catered to teaching every single age. From that, within the curriculum itself, we employ Bloom's taxonomy as the method in which that we use to teach. And we have what is known as the Winston assessment model. The Winston assessment model is to not only notify the parents about what grades they got in history, in Arabic, in HIFS, but also to work out what kind of learner your child is. Isn't it important to find from within our children the Khalids, the Abu Bakrs, the Omars, the Nusaybas? Allah be pleased with them all. That's why we have a curriculum that separates the children into strands so that we understand every type of learner because every single Muslim can be a benefit to this Ummah. And lastly, a revivalist perspective, think about our children. They are facing some of the greatest challenges to their faith, identity and our unity. And for that reason, we hold critical thinking classes. A safe space where no question is a bad question. This is where they can build their confidence in Islam. We need to build children that are confident, that have resistance, that have defiance. They need to be trained so that they can articulate what they believe within their schools, within their communities and within the working place and as active members of society. We need to teach them to flower and bloom despite their circumstances. We need to train them to be flowers that grow in the concrete. عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساه حلتها وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت الخير يسكب في أنا كم مرة قد ضقت من عظم البلاء بشر وشيطان يحاصرني أبا كم مرة قد أظلم الدرب ضحى وتحدر الدمع وضاقت بي رؤى أنا لست أقنط من إلهي طالما مدت بأحسان إلى روحي يداه